So um, the next thing too is London. London is a has a big um, uh, Hispanic population too, mm -hmm. and to the point where they call it um, Londomlia, you know, for Colombia because the Colombians that are over there. So you know, we're probably gonna see some Asherites and some some other Latin tribes over there too. We're gonna bring them the message, you know, whether they're here or Fort Bear. Um, I I got more in um, Isaiah 47 and 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If mm -hmm. so, be thou, um, if so, be thou shalt be able to profit. If so, be thou mayest prevail. All right, because these devils, they, they, um, they've been doing this since this, since the cradle, man. All right, since Cain, that whole uh, thing, the offering of fruits and herbs that he did to the Most High, that was that was witchcraft, man. The Most High doesn't accept that. All right, so these devils, and we're going to one of the hot spots of witchcraft, okay? Because you're gonna see, I can guarantee you're gonna see all kinds of symbols. We already know for a fact they got masons up there, Rosicrucians, Knights uh, Templar, yeah. uh, uh, the then Knights then of Columbus, Knights of Columbus, you know, Shriners. So they got all kinds of witchcraft up there, man. And it's very blatant, but the, the normal person, you don't have the spiritual eyes to see it. All right, go ahead. Thou art worried in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly procrastinators, um, prognosticators, yeah, prognosticators, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be as stubble. Mm -hmm. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee, with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth, they shall wander every one to his quarter. None shall save thee. Yep. Yeah, so that was the end on that one. All right. So we're going to go into another aspect. Um, a Western University, all right, which is very prestigious. You have your, like, uh, um, University of Toronto, which is, that's one the, in the world. That's a big university. Uh, you have York. You have Guelph, all right, and Western which among people is just called Western. Like the, when you say Western, they, they, you know it's talking about London, but officially it's called University of Western Toronto. So I have the article here, okay? Or Western Ontario, right? Sorry, Salaki, yeah. mm -hmm. University of Western Ontario. Yeah. Uh, I got the article from Wikipedia, all right? So I'm gonna go into a little. Uh, it says, uh, the University of Western Toronto, commonly referred to among Canadian universities as Western, is a public research university located in London, Ontario, Canada. The university's main campus covers 455 hectares, which is 1,120 acres of land, with the Thames River running through the eastern portion. Western administ administers a wide variety of academic programs between 12 faculties, professional schools, and three affiliated university colleges. Academically, University of Western Ontario is ranked among the best universities across Ontario and Canada for its research, intensity, and education quality. It says the university was founded in 1878 as the Western University of London, Ontario, a, de a denominational school of the Church of England by Bishop Isaac Helmuth and the Anglican Diocese of Huron, which we got this devil uh, locked in, okay, Isaac Helmuth. We're going to go into him a bit later. Um, history. It says the university was founded on March 7th, 1878 by Bishop Isaac Helmuth uh, of the Anglican Diocese of Huron as the Western University of London, Ontario. It says it incorporated Huron University College, which has been founded in 1863. The first four faculties were arts, divinity, law, and medicine, and there were originally only 15 students when classes began in 1881. And all those students were crackers, man. They weren't no jakes or gadites. They didn't accept you. All right, so this guy, Isaac Helmuth, I printed an article, because 
the spirit just led me to look him up, you know, because you got to look these guys up. And I found out he's a Khazar, okay? He's uh, he's like one of those crypto uh, Edomite Jews. So it says, Isaac Helmuth, December 14th, 1819 to May 28th, 1901. Second Anglican Bishop of the Diocese of Huron was the founder of Huron University College and the University of Western Ontario, one of Canada's leading universities. He was also the founder of Helmuth's Ladies College, now defunct formerly of London, Ontario. Uh, biography, it says, Isaac was born in Poland in 1819 into a Jewish family and educated at the University of Breslau. His father was a rabbi and he trained to be a rabbi himself. So that shows you these devils, you know. Um, uh, someone give me a scripture in Psalms, there is no truth in them. I think it's, there's, uh, their, their mouth is an open sepulchre. I think it's Psalms 14. However, intellectual discourse with theologians of other faiths made him question his faith. <laughs> and his father disowned him. He was forced to take his mother's maiden name. So this devil, he grew up like that movie, The Believer. Okay, if you watch that movie, The Believer, okay, he he was he was uh, it shows you like uh, little snippets of when he was in uh, Torah school synagogue, and he was learning and he was asking all these questions like if God exists, let him strike me down. Okay, so when these devils learn our our heritage or anything with the Most High, the spirit goes on them to where they they don't believe it, man. They they do it because they're forced. Okay. He moved to England in 1842 and made his decision to convert to convert to Christianity, specifically Anglicanism. Now, what what points me to believe this dude was an agent, all right, was number one, he didn't believe in the faith, okay? So why the hell would he convert to Christianity? Now, what these devils do, they'll, they'll, they'll be Khazars, but they'll change their name and they'll convert to Christianity. They'll become Jesuits, really, and they'll come to America, which they're sent by, uh, uh, people of high stature, okay, uh, they're, they're seniors, so to speak, and they'll be agents, basically. Because this, this dude founded uh, the University of Western, he actually founded three, because we mentioned the Huron College and University of Ontario mm -hmm. and, and some women's college, okay? So this, the, he was like an agent, agent, man, all right? And later, confirmed to the Church of England in Canada. By 1844, he entered the ministry and was sent to the Anglican Diocese of Toronto. He's, yeah, he studied for his ordination and because of his prior education, soon had an appointment to Bishop's University in Lexonville, where he was ordained and became a professor of Hebrew and rabbinical literature. But I thought he, I thought he gave up the faith, right? It says, Helmuth founded the University of London, Ontario in 1878, which was later renamed Western University. He was the first principal of Huron University College, the founding college of the West, of the University of Western Ontario. All right. So, uh, and one thing on uh, one more thing about uh, Western, uh, if the brother can pan in on here, please. Uh, their uh, coat of arms, okay. Their their motto, because a lot of these to prove this is Rome. Any major university, their their sayings, their models is, is either Latin or Greek. So the the, the phrase for uh, their motto is veritas e utilitas, which means truth and usefulness. Okay, which that that doesn't describe Esau. Someone, ever, anyone have that scripture? Psalms. Yeah, it's Psalms, Psalms chapter five, verse nine. But there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Yep. Their inward part is very wickedness. Yep. Their throat is an open sepulchre, they flatter with their tongue. Mm -hmm. Destroy them, O power, let them fall by their own counsels. Yep. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. That's right, all right. And uh, well, another thing too, the Spirit let me find is, when you look up here, again, uh, Veritas, okay? I looked that word up, and it's actually a Greek goddess, Veritas. All right, and this statue here, as you see here in the caption, is a statue of Veritas outside the Supreme Court of Canada. And why do they have these things? Because that that this is where they draw their power from. All right. So I'm going to read the article on Veritas because this is they're saying right, virtue. That's where you get the word. It says in Roman mythology, Veritas meaning truth was the goddess of truth, a daughter of Saturn, and the mother of virtue. That's where you get the word virtue from. 
It was believed that she hid in the bottom of a holy well because she was so elusive. Her image is shown as a young virgin dressed in white. Veritas is also the name given to the Roman virtue of truthfulness, which was considered one of the main virtues any good Roman should possess. And there were no fucking good Romans, man. That's right. <laughs> all these people here, to, all you Edomites today, you're the ancient Romans, okay? In it's Greek gross. mythology, Veritas was known as Aletheia. And now here it says educational models. The Latin word Veritas now appears in the mottos of many colleges and universities. It is typically capitalized in mottos as Veritas for being an ideal, such as truth, kindness, and beauty. There is a private university of art and architecture in Costa Rica, okay, you fucking Zebulonites, called Universitat Veritas. Veritas is the motto of Harvard University, which that's one of the biggest universities in the world. You mentioned Harvard, right? So that shows you London is demonic, man. All these things they use, okay? It says Providence College, these are all the universities that has this Veritas. Knox College, Illinois, Bilkin University, the University of California, Hastings College of Law, Drake University, as well as the Dominican Order of the Roman Catholic Church and Providence College, which is run by the Dominican. God damn. <laughs> Don't mess with me nights, man. All right. It says uh, all these colleges, Caldwell College in Caldwell, New Jersey issues a Veritas Award each year in honor of the Dominican sisters who founded and administered the college. Veritas is included in the motto of Indiana University and Yale University. So all these high top universities, that shows you we're going to demonic ass place, man. Because if Yale, Harvard uses all this shit, right? That what kind of vibration is that put on London? Uh, it also appears on the California State University motto Vox Veritas Vita, which means speak the truth as a way of life. Veritas Vos Libera Liberabi, which is the truth will set you free, is the motto of the John Hopkins University. Uh, Veritas Curat, which means truth cures, is the motto of the Jawaharlal Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research, a prominent medical school in Pudet Pudcherry, India. <laughs> it's international, man. Ha Howard University in Washington, D.C. goes by the motto Veritas et Utilitas, which is same thing as London translated to truth and service. Camp Veritas is the name of a Roman Catholic young adult camp with religious orders involved. So that was basically it on that demon, which, uh, I mean, you got to pan on this again. This is outside the Supreme Court of Canada. So what's the Supreme Court? That's the highest level of law. That's where you, that's the highest level of, of judgment, right? When you, when you appeal, when you, when you have a, a case and they're not hearing your case or you're not getting the result you want, who do you appeal to? The Supreme Court of Canada. So by them putting this demon on top of it, where do they get their power from, right? They all go back. That's why that beast in Revelations, okay, it got it gets the power from the dragon, which was the dragon, the Roman Empire. How did these devils get their power from, or who? It's from the Roman Empire. All the all the Greek goddesses, the 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 Roman mythology, right? All right. So th those are the articles, just to make an introduction to where we're going. Uh, anyone have any? scriptures or anything yeah this is uh, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of the Most High right what's the armor this truth right because what's armor what is armor meant for for protection right you have a breastplate uh, armbands okay you have uh, sometimes you have a girdle a belt like in the ancient world you have a helmet so all these things are meant for protection, all right? Because you, you're every day you're fighting what? Spiritual warfare, right? Go ahead. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles.